what is going on there guys so gels back here for some more youtube java tutorials with me of course with me so ito guys i just want to make this tutorial video because baka sa inyo um di ba in the last tutorial um uh, i made an example of tinuran ko kayo kung paano mag collections that binary search basically ito yon so magtataka kayo um paano ba sa string paano ba sa double ganun so ito gawin ko na lang to um, I'll made some demonstrations and turo ko sa inyo kung um, sa inyo kung paano kasi baka sa inyo ang gustong talagang malaman kasi baka um, di alam ko anong gagawin pero ito, I'll make a guide a guide, so, pero ito guys um, bago tayo magsimula again, I really do hope na alam nyo na ang about I released, anything choo 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 so, I'll expect na ha, and I'll assume na lang guys, so, kasi inano ko na yun in the past tutorial. So, kasalukuyan ay umuulan. So, yun. So, uh, wag nyo lang intindihin yung ano nang sa ulan. <laughs> so, ito guys. So, we'll be using the, ano, uh, we'll be um, trying to search naman a string and a double kasi yung integer nagawa na natin. So, alisin na natin to. That's, um, let's, um, alisin na natin to to be exact. Pero, nasa sa inyo yan kung gusto nyo i-comment or alisin ko na nga Lising ko na lang to lahat. Except dito kasi, pare dito lang tayo mag, ano, mag-print. So, ang una natin gagawin is itong comparator na string comparator. Again, again, I've already made a tutorial about this. So, I'll post my playlist again in the description below. Sa so, mga unang nanonood ng tutorial na to. So, a quick explanation lang. Again, implements, parang in-apply. Then, you put here string because it, ito yung type na and um, we're trying to search or trying to sort because basically we're going to sort then ito ito um inano ko na to um i've already discussed this na s1.compare to ignore case ignore case meaning um hindi ikaw compare yung dalawang string hindi iintindihin yung case kung capital letter ba or small letter so yun so it will return um an integer type so basically, for example, ang theory ko lang dito and malakas ang kutub ko na parang ganoon. Cause for example, string 1 is, for example, uh, sisimula sa letter W, then string 2, for example, sisimula sa letter A, for example, um, wax, then apple. Then yung wax, parang the letter W, mas malaki yun, di ba? Kung, kung sa A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So parang wax minus apple is positive number. So, ganun. Then, kaya sa mag- Once na nag-return yun ng positive number, parang it kind of, it kind sa uh, tell na si Wax ay, kumbaga, mas nauna si Wax kay, yung arrangement kasakay, kaysa kay Apple. So, logically, nasa algorithm kasi yan. So, yun. Nagbibigay, nagre-return siya ng integer, ano. So, vice versa, ganun din sa ano. So, magre-return siya ng zero kung magkapareho yung string yung yung string for example pareho siya silang apple so once nag for example eto naman yung apple then eto naman yung wax so a minus w parang ganun it can return sa a negative um integer parang sina once nag negative integer it, it says na parang sinasabi na mas nauna si A kaysa kay W so mas nauna si apple kaysa kay wax parang ganun guys pero para sa akin um, ano ko lang yun is kind of my theory, pero parang ano ako doon, pero nasa sa inyo yan, so, depende kasi sa pag-interpret nyo, so parang ganon, so may explanation naman ata dyan, kasi ito kasi guys, as I've said, ulit-ulit na ako, hindi natin alam yung algorithm kung pa paano ba sinosort, I mean kung paano, yes, paano sinosort pero, we can search it in the internet kung gusto nyo, pero ano, ito nga, we're giving it an, a comparator so, yun. Pinapadali na ang buhay natin, kumbaga, dahil sa mga built-in na mga functions functions dito sa Java. So, yun. Enough said. So, eto na. We will be making an array list of type string. Then, let's just name it words. It's equal to new. Um, bakit array list? I mean string. Again. Ganyan. So, ganyan. Ganun lang naman. So, Excuse me, I just burped. <laughs> Nag-burped ako doon. So, let's just add some words. 
let's just add some basic strings. For example, um, tatlo lang, ka, konti lang. So, we will be just binary search, kahit apat ganun na words. So, let's just add words. Um, for example, hello world. Then, words that add. For example, um, gels. My name is gels. Then, words that add. For example, um, um, ano ba dito? Chocolate. Bakit ko naisip chocolate? Kasi meron ako dito yung stick o na nisin stick wafer with flavor chocolate. So, na, na, natingnan ko lang siya. So, ayun. Ito sa mayroon sa akin. Ito. So, yun guys. So, ito na yung words. So, ito na yung words. Then, again, using the comparator, we need to, um, to sort first. Kasi, again, as I've said, in binary search, kailangan sorted ang data mo. So, collections that sort then ilalagay mo dito yung name of unang parameter is the name of your array list then our comparator new string comparator asan yan eto which is ginawa ko na so i'm assuming kasi guys na alam niyo na to cause you can ginawa ko na to bago ko start tong tutorial video na to so ganun just just save it Ay, bakit nag-error? Ay, ito pa pala. So, ito na. Dito, nangyayari yung sorting. Kung magtataka kayo, bakit, again, may new, ulit-ulit na ako. Cause, basically, our string comparator is a class and we're, we are making an instance of an object of our class, the string comparator. Ganon. So, ito na. Then, asa na yun yung ano natin? Oh, nawala. So, integer find. Ito lang yung ano natin. Yung find, babasya natin kung nahanap ba o hindi. Then, our integer, ay hindi, um, string, key, is equal. For example, ito yung hinahanap natin from our array list. So, kunwari, um, hanapin natin is gels. Ganyan. So, ito yung um, string na hinahanap natin. So, so, we will be saying na integer, again, kung napanood din yung tutorial ko about dito, sa integer. So, basically, alam nyo na, alam nyo na to eh. Ang pinagkaiba lang naman is, pinalitan lang yung data types and yung comparator and yung data sa array list and yung mga dito, ng mga minor, sa minor changes. Ganun lang naman. Wala lang, wala lang pinagkaiba. Pero, I'm doing this para nga doon sa mga, sa mga gustong ano, mga, kumbaga maka sigurado. So, ganun lang naman. So, okay lang. Wala naman sa akin problema. So, ito na integer find. So, collections dot binary search. Then, una mong ilalagay sa parameter is yung words, yung name variable, uh, reference variable of your array list. Then, the keyword yung inahanap mo, which is gels in our case. Then, your comparator again, which is new string comparator. Kung if you are trying to search string, wag kayong lalagay dito ng a double comparator, integer comparator. So, basically, mag -e error message naman yan. So, common sense. <laughs> common sense. So, dito, let's just type um, string, then percent %s, which is our key, was, then, ang maging value nitong our format specifier, if kung ang find is less than 0, meaning, um, Kung less than 0 ba siya? Pag less than 0, meaning negative. Meaning, hindi nahanap. So, panag true yun. Panag true to. So, eto yung gagawin. Which is not. Meaning, hindi nahanap yung inahanap natin. Panag false. Meaning, panag false to. It means na, na positive yung um, integer find natin. Which basically, the collections that binary search returns the number of index na hinahanap. Ay, ang ibig kong sabihin nun is, for example, etong gels, um, hinahanap natin siya, uh, ire-return niya yung index number niya. For example, ano ba yon? So, 0, 1, 2. So, the index number of gels is 0, 1, 2. So, again, um, I've already discussed it. Diniscuss ko na yan. Pang ilang beses ko nang inulit. So, index number yung parang lugar niya sa array list, kung magayor. Yung index nga, kaya nga index. So, it just returns the index number. So, ganun. So, which is logically a positive number. Ganun. So, pag nag-true, I mean, pag nag- 
false which is um, a positive number si find. Ito lang, blank space lang ipiprint niya. So, ito na. Double check. Huh? Nawala na ako ng hininga. So, double check. Tama ba? So, let's do this. Run file. So, gel string gels was found. So, for example, uh, nagay natin si chocolate. Yun yan. Was found. May chocolate. Ito. Ito yung chocolate. Ito. So, dagdagan uh, natin chocolates. So, string chocolates was not found. Kasi wala naman siya dito. Wala naman na chocolates dito. Chocolate lang. So, ganun lang naman guys. Again, inulit ko na to. Sinabi ko na sa um, tutorial ko before this na kung gusto nyo ano yun lang yung data type. I mean, ibang data type. Kasi sa unang tutorial ko, um, integer kasi yun. You just, yeah, all you have to do is just change the comparator. The comparator. The data. The eto. The data type. Probably ito, ito kasi reference variable, pero it's a good programming practice na to ano, to ang tawag yan. Yes, mas mabuti yan cause uh, what if kung double to, double, double yung data type mo dito, double yung data type mo sa array list mo din, ang reference variable mo is words. Hindi naman mali yon actually, pero kumbaga it's a good programming practice to be specific sa mga reference variable mo rin. Para kumbaga walang hindi nakakalito, kumbaga. So, ganun lang naman. Pero nasa sa inyo yan, it's always up to you guys. So, ito, ito na. I've made an example for for, for string. So, I'll leave it to you guys. Uh, ito yung double comparator. So, again, ulitin ko, all you have to do is just change change the, ano, the data type, the data, yung mga laman, then yung hinahanap nyo, then ito, Change that, then just change the comparator. Ganun lang naman. Ganun lang naman ang, ang, ang pinagkaiba. So, ito yung um, sa double comparator. Again, explain ko. Dati lang implements, override, meaning in override yung method. Pa, kasi somewhere in the algorithm, may ginagawa. Then, mag-change yung mga values. Kung bagay na override, pinapalitan, ganun. Then, bakit tina times 1,000? Because... For example, lam, etong we have a value of 4.7, then times to 1,000, magigis ang 4,700, tama ba? O 4,000 or 4,700 ba? Tama. Basta ganon. It kind of nan kung bakit na alis yung decimal places, pero deep inside it's still considered as a double, cause as I've said, in double you can store kung bakit an integer, parang integer something. For example. Um, in a double data type, you can store a value of 1. one. Pero in an integer um, data type, you cannot store 2.2, ganon, ganon. So, there is something, ano kasi yan. So, ito, ito yung, ang tawag dito, um, typecasting. So, it kind of converts it to um, a, a real integer talaga para ma-declare ma or ma-specify talaga. Oh, integer yan, integer yan. So, ganon. So, ito guys, yung comparator, ha? So, just click and pause the video and copy it. So, then, once you've done it, then, palitan nyo lang ito. Then, experiment, palitan nyo lang ito ng mga values. Gawin yung mga 2.2, ganyan, ganyan. So, again, ulitin ko. All you have to do is just change the data types, the ano, comparator, dito, dito, dito. So, ganun lang naman, guys. So, one thing, one thing, what if... Kung meron kayong class, then that yung objects, for example, meron kayong class na student, then yung student na yun, may attributes ng name, double, I mean name, grades, ganon. So, you want to search yung objects na yun by the grades. Again, same lang, pareho. All you have to do, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> all you have to do is um, use the dot operator, the getter and the setter. So, what do I mean by that? For example, um, dito kasi yan. So, for example, um, for example, meron kayong ditong, for example, student to. Um, student. So, ayan nyo lang guys yung error. So, student. So, 
dito student yan oops so student yan for example the student so all you have to do is um, use the ano dito kunwari dito dito na lang so for example return um, s1 dot then you will access the get the getter for example kung anong gusto mong hanapin or yes kung anong gusto mong hanapin from that object or from that class so for example get um, grade yung getter nyo doon or I mean again string pala to so get name then dot compare so lalabas yan lalabas yan once you've made it so ito kasi wala naman akong lin, uh, linagay dito kasi kaya siya nag lumalabas ng error pero once you've try it um, gagana yan so again guys etong sinasabi ko to um, uh, 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 meron ako nito actually tutorial video na ina-apply yung objects na sinosort for example yung meron tayong class na student then nag-add tayo ng objects ng student sa array list natin of course of type student then isosort yon by for example by the grade by their grade by their name which is alphabetically and by their age so meron ako noon then i'll post it on this on the description below then yung comparator doon yung comparator na ginagamit doon kung gusto nyo i-apply dito sa collections that binary search all you have to do is copy that comparator and yun yung ilagay nyo dito ganon yun yung ilagay nyo dito of course syempre dapat um um uh, tumutugma yung mga data nyo so pag string string pag double double ganon lang naman so i really do hope na Naintindihan nyo guys. So, ganun lang naman. Nag-basic demonstration ako sa string. So, take it as a challenge for you to try it sa double and doon sa class ng student. So, ganun lang naman guys. Alam, alam ko kayang-kaya nyo yan cause uh, parareho lang naman tayo dito. Um, oh, kung baga nagsisimula sa simula, then nahihirapan. Then, habang tumatagal, ah, ganun lang naman pala. So, yun guys. So, thank you for watching this video tutorial. So, it's 10 58 um, in the evening so again guys thank you so if you have questions just comment down below okay then i'll answer of course so it's 10 59 kaka 10 59 pa lang so thank you guys and i'm out